Hello, everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Katie. Today, I received the guidance to offer this healing session. This is going to be pretty quick, maybe 15, 20 minutes at the most. It's an opportunity for us to engage in some healing practices together. And this healing session is for you, whether you are experiencing like grief and emotional um, sadness or distress. This is for you if you are experiencing like spiritual trauma or uh, some of you I know just experience that sort of spiritual like I don't know what to do next. And that can manifest itself actually um, in your spiritual life, in your emotional life, and in your physical life. Or if you are having physical pain or discomfort, then, then you're in the right place. So what we are going for in this session is really awareness. We are seeking awareness about what is being blocked in our lives, maybe particular origins or pain points that we can start to address and fix, or if those aren't available, then we can simply be cultivate awareness and start to shift stuck energy. So all pain, whether that's on a spiritual level, emotional level, physical level, or otherwise, will manifest itself somehow. Eventually, it will manifest itself in our physical lives. I absolutely promise uh, that. Uh, so we want to stop it before it gets there, um, if that's the case. And if we're having physical ailments, physical illness, then it might have spiritual, emotional roots. And if it doesn't have origins in your physical or spiritual life, it will certainly impact your physical, I mean, your emotional and your spiritual life as well. So um, this is just a really simple uh, couple of exercises I have for you to start to cultivate that awareness. And everything that I do here, you can do on your own. And when you are ready to go deeper, so that you can do this at a really deep level to yourself and really tune into your own intuition, you can send me a private message. We can see about going further if that's available to you. And then uh, this is really the surface level of what we can do. And then you can go really, really deep um, later on with more advanced techniques as well. So let me invite everyone to place your feet flat on the ground if that's available to you. Sit up as straight as you can. Take a deep breath. And cultivate that breath awareness, really important for getting in touch with our, the health of our spirits. Let me invite you to do that again. Even just being aware of your breath is energy shifting, really energy shifting. Let me invite you to always be aware of that. I'm going to begin just with a really simple card drawing for us as well. This is a deck I hardly ever use, um, but I, I enjoy it. And I met the woman who made it a few years ago, and it's the Gabriel deck. So I'm just going to ask for the card that we all need right now that will most greatly facilitate and cultivate an atmosphere of healing for us. These are messages from our angel Gabriel. We're all familiar with Gabriel. Okay. So here is the message, and we're going, this will apply to you whether you're watching this live, or whether you're watching this in replay, no matter what kind of healing you are seeking today. That is, all that you have learned and all that has happened has brought you to where you are now be grateful and I really love this message so let me read that one more time all that you have learned and all that has happened to you brought you to where you are now be grateful and the gratitude here is that you are here you have made it this far and you are preparing to thrive in new ways and any kind of spirit of healing, gratitude can bump that up. That really can amplify your vibration, finding things to be grateful for, and really feeling that uh, gratitude. So let me ask everyone to pause and to prepare something in your, in your spirit for which you are grateful. So think about that just for a moment. I'll let you cultivate that.
Okay, I'm curious what it is. If you're here live, type that in. Hello, everyone. Type that in your gratitude. If you're watching this in replay, go ahead and type it into the replay too. We would love to share in your gratitude. I will share uh, mine with you. I've been out of town. And I was, um, yeah, it was a little sad to come home because I had a really good time out of town. But I was grateful to have this home to come home to and to see my little dog. And the dog had a few accidents while we were gone. And so it's like I've been cleaning carpets for the past few days and um, I'm hiring carpet cleaners to come in. And he never does that when we're, never does that when we're home. He's such a good dog, but I think he was a little irritated that we're gone. And so uh, I've just been walking around um, spraying down carpets, looking for organic cleaners, things like that. But I just pause to be very grateful. I have this little creature in my life and that I have this I have this house, a house that I really love. And actually the way we were able to rent this house was kind of amazing because it's like emergency last minute rental. Um, and it's turned out to be like the perfect place. I'm very grateful for those things. And, you know, cleaning the carpet, such a minor little thing in my life, like such a minor thing. And actually I'm be grateful. I have it to clean. No big deal. Okay. So I'd love to know what you're grateful for in your life as well. So I'm going to read this part one more time. This is actually very powerful. All that you have learned and all that has happened to you brought you to where you are now. Be grateful. And where you are now is in a place where you are ready to shift the energy in your life for radical healing. Um, you're going to learn techniques that you can do to yourself. And then if you are ready, you can take to the next level and learn more techniques to really tune into your intuition to find out source and origin of your own need for healing we all need it and then you can start to apply that to others as well um, and that is part of our kind of christian mission together so whatever your needs are we really actually start with sound healing and you may have seen this before but this is my beautiful kind of see here this is my beautiful tibetan symbol it's a little something on the inside. Get that. And uh, I was given this at my ordination, so it's um, very special to me. And the vibrations of sound technology, whether that comes from a bowl, whether it comes from crystals, whether it comes from an instrument, um, tuning forks, there's tons of different ways that you can use sound technology in your own life. But it's the vibrations that transmit from the technology into your body that facilitate and cultivate room for healing. Let me say one more word about healing and cures before we really get going. What we're doing right now is facilitating an environment for healing. We're not promising cures. Cures are wonderful when they happen. Some cures are instantaneous. Some take a long time. Sometimes we are learning lessons by whatever is the source of our healing. So for instance, if you were experiencing you know, intense grief due to the death of a loved one, I would not expect you to be completely healed from that tomorrow. If the person just died a week or two ago, in fact, if you were, I would be a little bit alarmed, right? That's something that, that's a process that will take a little time. But you do want to cultivate an environment within your own spirit and soul for healing to take place in all of these little ways and the little ways add up to really big ways and then when a big shift happens boom you're ready you've been prepared for that so that's amazing um so yes i love the singing praises that someone wrote in thank you that's just beautiful yeah and that's a great way to raise vibration so since you're not physically in the room with me um the vibrations you won't feel them quite as strongly as i do with the singing bowl but you can still feel them Invite, your, you invite you to open yourself up into a posture of receiving and be prepared to receive these vibrations and they will be transmitted to you wherever you are.
So I know the sound came through to you as I struck the bowl very gently, um, but I actually did get it to vibrate with the um, with the more gentle motion, the circular motion, and uh, I'm not always gifted with my technique to do that. So that one was actually really cool. It was a really, really strong vibration that I could feel, and then I was transmitting that energy to all of you in all of its many ways. And so you were able to absorb that um, across time and space, right? which is just beautiful. And, you know, not incidentally, that's how purpose work too. Uh, they are transmitted across time and space and um, manifested by the Holy Spirit, affected by the Holy Spirit. And you know, as Christians, we is something that's a mystery that we, that we absolutely believe in. Let me give you a very easy, easy technique that you can do if, to, for your physical body to, again, cultivate an environment for healing. And this very much soothes and calms because when we are tense and anxious, that is not an environment for healing, right? Um, but, but being in a calm, receptive state as much as possible, even when dealing with physical pain, will help, um, again, cultivate that space for radical and subtle healing to occur. The way you do this is you want, if possible, to have your feet and legs uncrossed, feet flat on the floor if you can. And if you're not in a, if you're not in a physical state where you can do that, it's okay. Just be comfortable. Comfortable as possible. And you're going to take your arms, you're going to cross them like this if you can. Uh, if you have physical limitations with shoulders or arms or chest, it doesn't allow you to do that. It's okay. You can do it like this on your lap. So either way. And if that's too difficult, just cross the finger. The main thing is you want some part of your arms to be crossed. If you can't do that or you're missing a limb, um, you can do it with your ankles as well. Uh, arms are preferred if you can. So what you're going to do is simply cross like this and very gently about this speed, you're going to simply tap your shoulders or your upper arms, wherever your arms naturally fall. You can even sway a little bit. You don't want to go too fast, so you don't want to be like this, because that might produce more anxiety, but find a rhythm and a speed that feels very natural to you. Very simple. This helps make crisscross connections between the hemispheres of our brain very soothing to us. It helps us tap into higher insights. It help us, helps us tap into our higher selves uh, where intuition and God dwell. So again, doing this can bring you into a state where you can receive greater healing. I'm going to pause and simply let everyone do this for about 30 seconds. Yes, and I'm feeling lots of energy shifting happening with all of you across time and space. I hope you feel uh, the intense healing energy I'm able to send to you as a spiritual worker, as an energy healer. Many of you are energy healers too, but this is not a time you need to send your healing energy to others. Just let me send it to you. Reserve your energy for yourself right now. So taking care of yourself is the first step into being able to offer healing services to others. All right. Whew. So I'm curious how that felt for all of you. Type into the chat box and let me know. Again, a very, very simple technique um, for cultivating an environment of healing in your own body. And when we do that to our own body, we are also preparing our souls, preparing our spirits for other ways of healing to come into us. Right? So it's really important. I think sometimes um, as Christians, we dismiss using these physical postures as silly. Now, you're Protestant, especially when I'm talking to you, um, our Catholic Orthodox brothers and sisters, um, you will do a little bit better job of this than us. Many Protestants dismiss those as being unimportant, like the only important thing is what happens in our minds. And our minds are important, of course they are. What happens in your 
brain is really important. But using these body forms and using different postures, different symbols in your own life can be very um, helpful. And again, cultivating that environment, your own soul, for radical shifts to happen, for radical things to take place. So, hey everyone, so some new people have joined. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are talking uh, about healing and using three techniques today. The first one was sound technology. We use this lovely singing bowl. Maybe I'll do it again at the very end. And then we just learned this technique using just a really simple physical posture to cultivate and facilitate environments of healing. We also support gratitude. And now I'm going to invite you to do a very simple body scan. And in, in the programs that I offer, we do this in a, in a really in-depth and even more involved way. So this one is going to be just the very beginning steps so that you can get a sense of this. And then when you want to go further, um, you know how to reach out to me. So I'm going to invite you to do this no matter if you are identifying your need for healing today as a physical ailment or not. Even if it's not expressing itself in your physical body yet, eventually, if you don't take care of this, it will. Believe me, trust me on that. It always does. It shows up somehow. And if you're, if you are sure, as sure as you can be, that your physical ailment doesn't have psycho-spiritual roots, again, believe me, it will start to affect your psycho-spiritual self um, because, you know, physical discomfort is not fun uh, for anyone right we everyone's been there at some point in time so what I'm going to do is lead you through a very gentle very simple body scan and in this body scan locate the parts of you you're going to locate the parts of you that feel relaxed and open and ready to receive you're going to identify the parts of you that feel maybe tight and tense or have some anxiety located in them and then you can start to work around the energy that's located in those parts that are not relaxed and open. Uh, so today I went to yoga for the first time in about three weeks. I've been traveling. I kind of ignored my yoga practice while I was traveling, um, which is fun in the moment. But today I was like, oh, you know, I saw, I felt places where I was really tight. And those places are correlated directly to my spirit, like directly to my spirit. And when I have, I'll just tell you all, my right hip is tense a lot. Uh, it's much more tense than my left side. and that's directly connected to my ability to receive um, rather than give, right? I would, most of us would much rather give than receive. Uh, that's definitely true for me. So every time that's tight, I, you know, then I can ask myself, where is it in my life that I am not allowing myself to receive the divine love, forgiveness that Christ has to offer? to me and usually I find somewhere right so that's just one example so let me again invite you to um, you might want to do this just for another second or two and to close your eyes that's available to you we'll simply start with the top of your head and I am not asking you to make any changes in this body scan the only thing we're doing is observing being aware start with top of the head and the eyes and ears your whole face and notice does your head feel tense does it feel relaxed is there a jaw that's being clenched are your eyes shut very tightly or are they kind of loose and gentle do your ears feel drawn or do they feel like they're resting in the normal position? Again, you only are observing here. You don't need to change anything. And then shift down to the neck and collarbone. And again, let's do the same thing. Notice, is your neck being held very gently and in a natural position? Does it feel tight? Does it feel sore on the inside of your throat? And the top of the shoulders, are they hunched? Are they relaxed? Do you feel like you are holding up the weight of the world? Or does it feel like things would roll off your shoulders if they need to? And move 
move down your arms as well, the upper arms to the elbows, to the forearms and wrists and hands. Do they feel gentle and like they're floating? Or are they clenched and tight? And move your awareness down into your heart center. You might feel physical tightness or relaxation here. You might also feel spiritual tightness or fullness or expansiveness here in your heart area. Take a moment and check in with your heart. What is it that you're feeling? And simply acknowledge that right now. And shift your awareness down to the very middle of your body and your belly. And again, notice. Is there tightness? Is there upsetness? Is there anxiety? Is there joy in this part of you? Your belly is a major energetic part of you. It can tell you amazing things about your spirit. I invite you to shift your awareness to your back, your upper back, middle back, lower back. Is there pain? Is there relaxation? Is there tightness? So many of us experience trauma with our backs at different points in our lives. Do you feel yourself hunched or concave in your back? And then shift down into your hips, into your left and your right hip. Notice if they are tight, if they are relaxed. Do they feel balanced and equal or do they feel off center and uneven? Do you notice that you're sitting more to the left or more to the right? Just observe that right now. Then shift your awareness to your upper legs and your knees. Knees are common trouble spots for us. Put your awareness there and see if there's any tension or flexion that needs your Attention. And then finally down to your calves and ankles and feet and your heels. Our feet support us and hold us up all the time. How are yours feeling today? Do they need some of your awareness and attention? So simply Notice, are your calves tight or are they relaxed? Same for your ankles, your heels, the soles of your feet, the arches, the toes. Now that you've done this entire body scan, choose the spot of you that is calling to you the most, where you were feeling discomfort or pain. And just simply put your energy awareness there. And I'll invite you to ask this part of your body one simple question. And let the energy of your body answer you. That one question is, what is it that you need me to know right now? And let that awareness speak to you and give you a few seconds to hear its response. Mm -hmm. 
You might be surprised at what that energy has to tell you. I often find very surprising things out about my spirit and my soul when I ask my body what's going on. Your body can inform you about your spirit. And while your attention's there, I'm going to play the bowl just for a minute or two more and let these vibrations enter into that part of your body. You don't need to consciously tell it to do anything. Just let it do its work in you and let it build your awareness. Vibrations of this symbol are available to you, entering into you through all your helpers, Christ the Great Physician. Whatever in you needs healing, the shifting energy, whether it's a lot of energy or a fraction of a millimeter, either way, it's all healing energy. All available to you. My prayer, this vibrational exercise will resonate with you, will be available to you anytime. The healing you seek will be there for you now and forever. Amen. I invite you to open your eyes. Let's say, wiggle your fingers and toes, return to the spot. You might want to take just a moment uh, when this video ends and receive some water, get some water for yourself, make sure you're grounded, and kind of reflect on those exercises that we just did. So those are really um, some kind of basic tools in the tool belt for you. If you feel like these were very helpful for you, please write to me and let me know. It may be that you're ready to take the next step. If you're ready to take the next step, definitely write to me and let me know and we can start to work that out for you. I've seen just amazing um, energy flow from people recently and it's just been incredible to watch the leaps and bounds that people are able to make once they're able to calm themselves and get into that intuitive space and then they can really tune in find out some more about themselves, what they're experiencing, and then start to move to the next level. So once we can do this to ourselves, then we can be prepared to offer it to others. So I can give you an example. Ten years ago, you know, I couldn't have done all this work. I couldn't have done this uh, so easily and fluidly for you. And definitely I couldn't have received a message this morning you know, to me from my guide saying, hey, offer a healing session at you know, 12 for today. Um, but today I'm able to do that. And I'm able to offer that energy work to you. And hopefully you're able to take that into your own awareness, cultivate that in your own life, and do something amazing with it. We're all called to do amazing things. You are too. So we've been here actually a little longer than I had said we've been, uh, been here almost 30 minutes. So it's about time to go. Let me just read this card that we drew at the very beginning to you one more time from the Gabriel deck. All that you have learned and all that has happened to you brought you to where you are now. Be grateful. I love that. So you're here, you made it, I'm kind of receiving some more information for you. You've made it here, you've made it into this group for a reason. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Uh, I was called to start this group for a particular reason and lo and behold, here we all are. We're meet, meeting, uh, whether it's live, whether it's in replay. And, and focusing on what has happened is good in the sense that self-reflection is good. It brings you here, brings you to right where you are right now. That gratitude is good. 
what we want to stop right now are the stories that keep you where you are if you're not moving forward positively. So those stories aren't serving you anymore. It could be that one of those stories was located somewhere in your body, in which case it's time to start to tell that new story, tell something new about yourself, um, which is, which is here, that is healing in and of itself, of absolutely. And we begin to shift that energy. And we, as Christians, we do this with Christ as our guide. We know that Christ desires for us to be as whole beings as we can and um, to teach others how to do that as well. When we do that, we are transforming the world, which is why we're here. That's why we're here. And the way you transform the world is yours, and that's unique to you. And that's what I'm here to help you figure out. Okay. I think that is that is it. So I want to uh, thank my guys for this message. That message and was given to you with great love. So if that resonates, do let me know. I let me know what your resonances are. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.